Ask a bagpiper. Ask a bagpiper. Ask a bagpiper. 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 Ask a bagpiper. I should have had him playing music now. Instead, we get this. Uh, anyway, we should have come out of that. And it should have been. Fail. If you don't do it right, it sounds like uh, someone's killing cats with the bagpipes, right, right or not? Yeah. yeah. Matt is here. How long have you been in the pipes game, buddy? I've been doing it for about 23 years now. 23 years. It doesn't seem like it's an instrument that a lot of people would uh, pick up. You know what I'm saying? No, it just kind of worked out uh, back in eighth grade myself and uh, Hunter Beach. Shout out. Who? Uh, Hunter Beach. He's your bagpipe uh Comrade Does he still bagpipe? I feel like yeah, I haven't seen does. him you bagpipe. Know, so you know Hunter? I graduated yeah. with both of these guys. Yeah. So, so they have secrets on uh, Leah. <laughs> I'm sure. But I'm not a, here to talk about that. No. What is it? Oh, it's my computer. All right. There we go. <laughs> my bad. I'm over here trying to fix stuff. Uh, so you had, he like, he bagpiped with you? Yeah. So you we were co-pipers? Yeah, we started with the Zion Fire and Police to Pipe Band. Uh, in Zion, Illinois, uh, Alex Dimitrievich uh, started a pipe band, and we just kind of... Uh, sure, let's do it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just everything kind of fell into place. There was this old Scottish guy that uh, lived down the street from me uh, and was able to ride my bike there every day. And Take uh, your lesson. Yeah, you know, didn't charge me anything, so... Uh, he was just thrilled somebody else was picking up the pipes, carrying exactly, the torch, right? Exactly. Wow, that is awesome. So... Like my mom always wanted me to learn accordion, which looks impossible because there's two sets of keys. There's all the little ones over here, and there's the the main like piano looking ones over here. Is that the one it, that goes like this? Yeah, yeah. And then what's Squeeze this box. about? Yeah, well, you know? yeah, that's how you get the air going in it. Like he blows into his pipe. Yeah. Uh, but with the accordion, that's you're pushing air through it. You got to be in good shape to play the bagpipes. But my mom, I'm like that is just a weird instrument. Mm -hmm. Bagpipes is also not to throw shade. <laughs> It's a weird instrument. It is. Right? It can be. But you're like the party. What's the word? No, the guy picking the guy picking up his guitar or pulling his harmonica out or sitting down at the yeah, piano. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. The guy walking in with the bagpipes, <laughs> you're like, skirt. what is what is in a skirt? What is this guy's deal? It's super cool, but also just it's just odd is not the right word. Uh it's, it's eccentric. Yeah, it's sometimes obnoxious. Right. Um yeah. they do have a digital practice channel now that you can actually turn up the volume of and it actually sounds exactly like a bagpipe uh so it's almost so you like play a synthesizer it, but you don't have to blow into yep. it or yeah it's just, yeah. you plug it into it's a cheating that's uh, it cheating. is kind of, yeah. but it's good how is the fingering when you in the bagpipes <laughs> like how how many because it, it looks like you know what these are the kids that paid attention when we were learning to play recorder in mm -hmm. in grade school <laughs> it's like a recorder that you gotta don't my my <laughs> my fourth grader just brought his recorder home i was like oh yippee i, I played recorder uh not this past cfg but two the mm -hmm. last cfg i played recorder with uh with the uh, modern to jim and justin and uh the royal bliss guys yeah yeah and i nailed it i didn't know that i had learned it looks bagpipes looks like a recorder that you're blowing into how many how many fingering notes. holes? Yeah. So there's nine notes, and then everything else is just really embellishments. So you're just moving your fingers as the um, you get to certain keys, and so it's, there's it just goes to low A to high G, or low so G to high so, A. So it's it's how many octaves? It's an it's an octave and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Um. So it's not that difficult as far as <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks impossible. Yeah. yeah. It looks impossible, but you said there's nine notes. It's like, oh, I can figure that out or not. I don't, you know, or not. I don't know. Was it? Do you play any other instruments? So when I, before I started playing the bagpipes, I played uh, the piano so, uh, in junior high, and then also the percussion drums. Yeah. Oh, so, so there was I a chance you were, there was a chance you were going to get laid, but then, yeah. then you went to the bagpipes. <laughs> yeah. and so so uh, yeah, played the play the drums, and actually that's what I showed up to the one initial bagpipe practice for was drums and was kind of blown away by the the sound of the bagpipes at the time. I and, love the uh, bagpipes. Yeah. yeah. In my neighborhood where I used to live, there was a guy that played bagpipes and he would practice, but you could tell he was like two blocks away and I couldn't find him. <laughs> you know, by the time I got narrowed down, then he, he quit practicing. I'm like, I got to find the bagpipe guy. Um, do you practice like at home? Yeah, I do. I mean, in the house. Yeah. Are you married? I am. Still? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, she doesn't make you go out to the garage or something or i will go just about anywhere in the house anywhere from my bathroom to the garage to mm -hmm. not so much the basement um and try to practice when no one's around and then um not so much 
anymore as much as I used to. When well, I you, competed, don't to, so. you don't know how to play now. You know, <laughs> so uh, how long did it take you to learn and get good with this guy who's just like, oh, a neighborhood good. Come into my house <laughs> yeah. and blow on this. Yeah. 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 So it took um, we started in eighth grade. And by the end of eighth grade, we actually got our set of bagpipes at the time and then marched and played at our graduation. So the same grade. year. Yeah. 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 So we picked it up pretty quickly. Um, and then I was able, I went to Monmouth College in Monmouth, Illinois on a bagpipe scholarship uh, for four and a half years. Back and, up, uh, <laughs> back up. Full ride pipe scholarship. <laughs> I didn't know that. Full was ride, yeah. full, your full ride piper. Close to. Really? Um, yeah, at the you time went to they college had... because cause they needed a bagpiper. There are many. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> yeah. We okay. need a bagpiper. Give this kid a full ride. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was the only place I really applied. Yeah. It was just one thing that. Well, was, they're a known bagpipe powerhouse. You're not, you don't want to go to. Yeah, everyone yeah, knows yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we, it was cool. I mean, we got to did parades no, and met a bunch yeah, of people. Okay, yeah, and yeah. Still talk to a lot I of them today. I can't figure out if it's like the coolest instrument or the least cool or something. I, it's, I love bagpipes, but I think I'm weird. Uh, anyway. And it seems physically challenging. It can be. Like, you got to. You're marching in a parade and you're the whole time blowing into the thing or whatever. Is it hard to blow into the thing and keep it going? Yeah, it, it takes practice. Like, I, remember, I remember watching you guys as kids and you guys would get like out of breath. Now when I see you doing it, though, I'm like, oh, he must have worked on his lung yeah. power. I <laughs> you ever know. smoked? Have you ever been a smoker? Yeah, I mean, no. Yeah. I mean, I'll have a cigar here and there. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, the parades, which aren't too. I mean, I have, I've done a parade in a while, so um but you're only playing a couple songs and then you're taking a break you're just walking yeah and then you're yeah. walking and then marching back the guys again, so. kilt. Yeah. you look good you look sharp <laughs> i want to wear a kilt i don't have a kilt you wearing underwear right now socks and shoes socks and shoes yeah. and you're because i'm free <laughs> free <laughs> seriously as a guy though I don't know why guys don't wear kilts more, like in the summertime. You go like, well, oh, the what do you mean? Let They're it, like, it's, yeah. it's let flannel. It, let it air. Yeah, but you're aired out. You got a good breeze yeah, coming I up guess, there. You I gotta, guess. It's, it's got to be nice in the summertime with a nice breeze. Or it depends. Yeah, I mean, it could be warm. I, if, warm? Oh, because of the uh, the flannel or just the summer whatever. months when I'm yeah. traveling and uh, yeah, it can be really just warm. Put your legs up on the counter here. Just. <laughs> Aim them toward Lee. You're looking anyway, for shade. <laughs> we're on the Tom Tube camera right now. You can see what's going on. It's Ask a Bagpiper today. Matt is here. We're going to have him play uh, some bagpipes for us coming up in just a couple of minutes. If you have questions about the pipes, do, they have, do we call them the pipes? Or, uh, yeah, okay. what's the short name? Yeah, yeah. Uh, pipes. You're pipes. perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. You got a question about the pipes? Text it in now to 815 283 0095. Studio, the keyword for Ask a Bagpiper. It is 827. Sunny and 37 for today, 25 overnight, 35 and overcast for tomorrow and on the way. By the way, after because I'm I, I'm assuming this is news. Yeah, was that you telling me to I've do? I've told news? you that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't ready. Wearing for your it. hand I'm signals. I'm sorry. Be I'm prepared. excited because I, you know, how I was doing intermittent fasting. Yeah, I just added a reason to give up. Good. Give it up. Give it up, and everybody it, else give it up. Too. Is it because you're driving your coworkers nuts? No, oh, no. That's okay. this is an Add additional. That to the list. This is an additional right. reason. Why not to intermittent fast and a guy blowing the pipes? Coming up on the Will Rock Morning Show.
If you need to get electrical work done, you can talk to your buddy who kind of does it, or you can talk to a professional, not a jack of all trades, but uh, someone from the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 150, the most highly trained electrical workforce in Lake County. Contractors who uh, use the guys from IBEW Local 150 employ electricians that have completed that five-year registered apprenticeship program. They're all uh, OSHA certified. It's a drug-free, safe work or, uh, workforce, true professionals in the electric industry. So whether it's residential, commercial, industrial, manufacturing, new construction, whatever it is, these are the guys you want getting your electrical work done. IBEW Local 150 electricians are true professionals. Find a contractor that uses guys from the IBEW 150 in Lake County on the website, ibew150.org. We'll rock morning show, Tom and Leah. It is 8.32. I mean, it's become a super popular way to lose weight, but intermittent fasting, it could kill you. That is on the way after the 95 Will Rock, 95 second update. A man involved in a bar fight happened last weekend, now faces charges for pointing a gun at a police officer. John Trell White, who's 19, exited a vehicle that fled the scene when police arrived at an establishment on 8th Avenue in Kenosha, Police tracked him to 52nd Street, where he attempted to flee, even trying to enter a moving vehicle. White was apprehended a block away, allegedly pointing a gun at officers during the chase. Charges have been filed against two suspected gunmen following an incident where a mother was carjacked at gunpoint in Waukegan. Elijah Mont, 20, from Zion, faces multiple charges, including aggravated hijacking, possession of a machine gun, and resisting a peace officer causing injury. Will Rock Sports, it is brought to you by Windy City Rooter. They drain your pipes, not your wallet. The LA Kings defeated the Chicago Blackhawks 6-2. Blackhawks visit the Ducks tomorrow night. Bucks at Boston tonight. Bulls will be in Houston tomorrow. And Cactus League, Brewers win, Cubs lose. And finally, I just had a girlfriend text me and she was like, this is the only thing that helped. It's been the only thing that helped me. Because yeah, intermittent, intermittent fasting, fasting, I do that. Super I, popular way to lose weight. You don't do that. Not officially, but no. I don't eat generally. But you break a fast by having creamer in your coffee. If you were fasting, you can't have anything. You can't. You could have coffee, black coffee, zero, but you can't have that sugar. So she it's, is militant about this. She's like, you have cream. Well, have because, it. but I'm not saying I'm intermittent intermittent fasting. I'm saying I don't eat after my yeah, coffee. Yeah, yeah. I have a banana after the show. You, I don't eat anything until and, dinner. And what I'm saying is, you're not going to get the benefits of what intermittent, intermittent fasting. fasting. I'm offer. not going to become a raging lunatic. Yeah, that's that was me when I was doing it. Well, I did I it want, for two that's weeks. That's not what I was saying. Yeah, no, sure. No, okay. No, no, no. I did it for two weeks and eh, it, just, longer. it just wasn't it just wasn't for me. A new study found that it could give you a heart attack. Researchers looked at the health records of more than 20,000 adults over 15 years and found 91 percent. I have a higher risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. Who 90, were 90, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 people who intermittent fast. 
Well, good news, bad news. Good news is uh, well, the bad Great news. Shape. Is, Bad news is it could kill you. Good yeah. news is, is your corpse will weigh less. Uh, yeah. well, you look good. Easier I mean, yeah, for the yeah, pole bearers yeah. to carry. I, I mean- want it to be open <laughs> casket. I've lost all this weight. Well, there you go. Yeah, easier for the pole bearers. You're just helping out your friends. So don't intermittent fast is what you're saying. That's unless what you're, I'm going unless with. you're in good cardiovascular shape. I don't like, well, my heart's good. Yola just looked at it. She said yeah. it's a perfect heart, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah resting heart with rate a, of like with, 52 you wouldn't with, look at me she looked think- at she looked at it with a machine by the way she didn't cut <laughs> cut leah open or anything or, yeah leah lives with somebody who can't wait to cut her open and see her heart functioning though yeah. Yeah, no. one day she just wants to do that with animals oh. because she wants to become a vet yeah okay. don't lose the message yeah. you, you, whatever you say mama Dahmer. Okay. whatever you say <laughs> So don't intermittent fast unless you want to lose a lot of weight as your soul leaves your body. <laughs> Ask a bagpiper coming up after my favorite bagpipe song, which is after the Scott Stamp, I will rock.
If you look at Tom Tube right now, Leah's doing the what you're talking about, Willis face to Matt the bagpiper. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. But first, Matt, do you like this? This is rock and roll bagpipes. You're a bagpiper. Yeah, it, it, it's great to hear this. Is there a favorite <clears throat> bagpipe song that the general public would know as a piper? Like that one is would be mine, I would think. Yeah. That I would know. Or like is I mean, there a rock and like roll one? Or, oh, rock and yeah. roll. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, there's I mean you could play ACDC on it. Um thunderstruck yeah i mean i can't yeah but uh you suck <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so uh but uh yeah i would like to play the song. thunderstruck game with him do you know the thunderstruck game no so when thunderstruck starts every time they say thunder you take a drink of your beer okay and when they say thunderstruck and then they go into the thing then you have to slam and by the end of the song which is almost five minutes you have to finish just about two beers you can have a little bit left in your second beer i did it once and i did it in sturgis a few years ago with neil from royal bliss and uh and then I, all the beer just came out at the end. <laughs> that was the big grand. Thing. But if you can get through that, that's. But that's a ACDC got some bagpipe songs. Do you yeah. have a favorite bagpipe song? That's because there aren't a lot of rock and roll ones like that. No, I mean they're coming out more and more now. There's a couple of groups overseas that that do put on like a lot of weddings. Yeah. Um, and they can do. Um, like they were doing Sweet Caroline. I heard the other night. Um, yeah. just on Facebook that they performed. But What's they can do your almost favorite. Do, do you like have just you a favorite do? bagpipe song that um, you play? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I could play it. It's called the Mason's Apron, and uh, it's just like a nice, fast, upbeat tune. Yeah. yeah. And right. uh, but Do you yeah, know Amazing Grace? You have to know that on bagpipes. No, no, I don't, Tom. Never. What? No, You're joking. lying. You're lying. <laughs> like, that's no, like that's the, the one bag- that makes me cry. I, now, listen, yeah. at my funeral, will you come and play Amazing Grace? Of course. All right. Right? That's it, man. Can, Amazing I, Grace I on the bagpipes. Him. It chokes me up. I'll, uh, I'll hire funeral, him. Before you mm-hmm. have me stuffed for the, they're having me taxidermied and put in here. Yeah, yeah we're going to uh, p- place him up in maybe, the corner. Maybe, you know, at the funeral, and then when they when they put me in the corner, come for the big unveiling. Or yeah. What, you know, <laughs> what's under the tarp? Oh, it's Tom. Just a guy a tiny, start, tiny little urn. Start, start playing him in. No, I'm not getting No, we'll no, stuff him. Oh, we're going to put, ta- oh, yeah, glass Oh, I see it now. I'm going to be in the corner like. They're actually going to do, they're actually going to do sex doll with me. I'm going to be like. Yeah. Nobody is gonna. <laughs> All anyway, open. so yeah, and then people will come in and violate me. But if you could, uh, if you could uh, play Amazing play Grace, Amazing at, Grace for that at my yes. unveiling and at my funeral. Yeah, of course, Leo will pay. It's uh, so why I we'll get into that. Like, what's what's in the bagpipe? What's the what's the thing for the bagpipe and game? What's going on with that? What do you do with them? Uh, coming up next is ask a bagpiper today. If you have bagpipe questions, text them in eight one five two eight three zero zero nine five studio. The first word in your message. Followed by your questions for Matt the Bagpiper. Sunny and 37 for today, 25 overnight, 25 and overcast for tomorrow. It is 28 in Crystal Lake and 30 in Highland Park. And then we'll get into, uh, if you're watching Tom too, Matt is in here. You, Leah had her, what you talking about, Willis face. They're reminiscing. They went to high school together. I would like you to narrow it down. I don't know if you can do top three or just number one Leah things to tell us from high school. <laughs> So, it wasn't even open. so we no. went to no we well, went to high, <laughs> we went to high school together but then he went to a different junior high and yeah. i will tell you the one wait you went I, to junior high after high school that is weird <laughs> no, before you, benjamin <laughs> button of education yeah. you went the other way no, no, no. all right our kindergarten graduates today are leah she's 18. <laughs> Uh, no, my, so you went to a different junior high, yeah, and then, you went and to then high it school funnels together. into. But I knew yeah. Matt in junior high, yeah. and it's because like me and a couple of girls from another school would come and crash their their dance that they had. Was it like every, at their junior high? At their yeah, junior the high dances at the, at the Slater yeah. Yeah, they're still yeah. going. They yeah. still are a thing, but you we, still go. That's creepy. Yeah. Matt. <laughs> hey, uh, that's what I like about these junior high girls. I get older, they stay the same age. All right, all right, you all guys, right. You guys want to blow in a bagpipe? <laughs> No, but me and the other girls from a different city Mother. would come and yeah. crash, yeah. crash their school dances. The girls there hated us. How did you get away from yeah, with there that? Were no ID checks. I, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I need, I, is it one? Am I looking for one or am I looking for three, three shortly of stories? Or is there one really good long one that you can come up with? No, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, you know, there's nothing. Yeah. I mean, I don't have I've always, on I've always, don't always help. Good. It's don't always... help. This is between me and Matt. Okay. <laughs> I don't want you to funnel this okay. or filter it in any way. There's got to be one. There's got to be one. There's got to be some dirt on <sighs> her. She was handcuffed for her senior year photo in high school. Do you recall that? Do you know no. that? Were you? She was handcuffed. 
they took the cuffs off, let her take the picture and put the cuffs back on. <laughs> she was suspended at the time. It was. I was suspended and I was up against the board for expulsion. But again, we haven't told the story on the air. It was not my fault. It never is. Leah. It never is. The prisons are full of innocent people. <laughs> Poor, poor Leah. Come up with one for us, Matt. Don't uh, hold out. Uh, we'll try and get that out of him, plus some rock and roll bagpiping coming up with Matt the Bagpiper on the Will Rock Morning Show. 1175 Sports Park and Eatery, week from Friday, next Friday night. Jesse James Dupree from Jackal. His son Nigel's in the band. Roman is in the band. They're doing solo Jesse James show. He'll get some Jackal tunes in there, obviously. Uh, they do some great covers. I saw it in uh, D- uh, Daytona for Bike Week a couple weeks ago. It is an incredible show. Then we got Lines of Loyalty. And Sin uh, opening up the show. Great night of rock. Next Friday night, March 29th, 1175 Sports Park and Eatery, Highways 11 and 75 in Kansasville. Details on the concert page at 95willrock.com. Thing. Well, Rock Morning Show, Tom and Leah, 853, Ask a Bagpiper. Matt is here today. We'll get dirt on Leah coming up in just a little bit. First, I got to talk about the bagpipe game. You know, he had a He's a full ride scholarship bagpiper. Uh, that's impressive. So that's I didn't nice even stone. know. I didn't even know that. I didn't yeah. know that was a thing. Matt. Yeah, full ride to juvie. So there's yeah, that. I did never go it to juvie. It was just about that. It was just about that. Close she, enough. She was talking about, uh, you know, when she got uh, had to wear handcuffs for the senior picture at the time, she decked Ms. Blanton. So it was an accident. And you're not supposed to be listening to that. 
It was an accident. We're she in a very small room and you're a very loud speaker. She grabbed my backpack and I was like in an altercation with somebody else. And yeah, and whatever. I ended up getting arrested. I made it from the South Cafeteria to the North Cafeteria. I ended up getting arrested in the it, North yeah. Cafeteria. Uh, whatever. Anyway, you it should, wasn't my fault. I wasn't cut a bitch. You no, know? Yeah, I, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So you're was, lucky was my she, fist was closed. Was she scary in high school? No, was she, of course she, not. What was she? What girl she was, was very she? very nice and. Unless you're Miss Blanton. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grab her by the yeah. book back. Yeah. So what the bagpipe game, like if I learn, if you learn piano and uh, you're, you're somewhere and there's a piano, you sit down and you play it. If you, if you learn harmonica, you carry it around in your park, pocket, you're cool, you play it. If you play guitar, you're at a campfire, you get it out and play it. How often is there random bagpiping in your life where it's like, let me grab my pipes. <sighs> Does that ever happen with bagpiping? When people may want bagpipes at a certain function yeah or so event. no i'm not talking about planning talking about in advance we'll get to that do okay. you ever do you ever just randomly like you're at a party and you go out, hey let me go to the car and grab the pipes oh no you care? no no no, that was, no one that ever was, asked that, for i think that. that would be cool if they found out if i was at a party and you i found out your bagpipe i'd be like you have them with you yeah yeah you know <laughs> yeah. So well, you have a weird obsession <laughs> i like bagpipes bagpipes and goats man mm-hmm. that's my thing so uh <laughs> if you could play bagpipes while well, i i have good goat yoga uh, all right, so the plan stuff. What what do you do now with your bagpipes? Are you in like a are you in like a little club or uh, do you do parades? Do you do wedding? What do you do? What do you do? Uh, so right now, I mean, the last time I competed was in 2014, 15, and sixteen. Ten years ago. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but I used to travel up to Toronto, Canada, and played in one of the top um, North American pipe bands. And shout out Brian Green and Courtney Green still playing with them. Oh, the Greens. They, yeah, yeah. They yeah. live in uh, Gurney here yeah. down the road. So, um, but I used to travel up there once a month and then. We'd go once a year then to Scotland for the World Pipe Band Championships. So, really? Um, yeah, so did a lot of traveling and then kids came I think came I'm along. going to Scotland in the spring. What do you, you highly recommend Scotland? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you know where you're staying? Not yet. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Glasgow was great. We're going to Glasgow. Glasgow. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah. That's cool. And I don't know if you like Indian food, but it's fantastic. Keep there. listening. Well, I, I'm not listening, but watch my social media I'm for you know, go with, to, I'm going to Scotland, I think in the spring. So this is news to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so it's, well, it's not a radio station. I think it's a time. Well, no, so. I know, but you're going on vacation next week and you're no. like, and that's, that does it for vacation. No, no, for a while. this is next May. Oh, next May. okay. Yeah, not yeah, this. Yeah, All right. Yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah. You can come with me. Um, so what do you do? Do you do, what do you do now? Are you in a club locally now? Or do you, do you do parades or do you do weddings or do you, do, or you just kind of scare your family? What do you, I mean, yeah, so now it's more of, um, fundraisers weddings funerals um and anything that might come up that may want bagpipes at st patrick's yeah. day st. Patrick's right day, you were yeah, out. that's Harbor, like the busy you know. time of year yeah so i've i mean this week i think i've had my kilt on oh it'll be six days out of the ten yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> i'm wearing my leader hosen for the 501 <laughs> club party on friday and i wonder if kilt is the same when i first got my leader hosen it was like oh, i gotta put this stuff on now any t- chance i get to put it on i'm like yeah i get the right because it's gonna be a party if you have your kilt on it's gonna be a party it is. right yeah it's a good anytime i can put my leader hosen on and at first you feel kind of silly but then you're like no this is cool this yeah. is really cool you look uh, kilt, you look mm-hmm. good yeah yeah, I got my leader holes in this Friday, Copper Bottom Bar and Grill from the 501 Club Party. We're doing Mosh Krug's demo with Hawk Prowl. So it's fun. It's just, it puts you in a better mood because you know you're going to something fun when you get your garb on and go do your Except thing. what is this What is this furry patch that's hanging in between your crotch right now? I don't think you can say that <laughs> to people on the radio. <laughs> what, stand up. What is she talking? Hold well, on. Let me I, get the camera I did. going I here. I looked over. What there is it the is. the furry patch? <laughs> Over and I was like, little purse. Does yes. your little purse have a name? Uh, it's called a sporn. That's what I said. Your sporn. Yeah. I used to know so, that. Yeah. It could be considered a a purse. A purse. Yeah. Yeah. And then what is? What do you mean furry patch? Are you talking <laughs> oh, about his sporn? Yes, yeah, so I'm talking about his sporn. Not furry. That's like yes, elk is. skin or something. Well, whatever. What it's furry. It? What is it? So it's leather, and this one's probably maybe some type of rabbit. Um. For yeah. actually, maybe I don't not really sure. Seal potentially, I've got a rabbit fur at home, and you can get horse you have, hair. You have multiple sporns. <laughs> you got your fancy yeah. sporn, you got your everyday sporn, and your casual sporn. Right, and right, your right. Sporn, what sporn and your sporty is that? sporn. Those are, that's my favorite spice girl, sporty sporn. Uh, but it's a little purse you keep stuff in. When I wear my when I wear my leader hose and there's mm-hmm. a knife pocket, I'm like, I have a knife pocket. Now, I never put a knife in it, but it's just kind of cool to have you like your sporn, right? Yeah, it's and, great. Yeah. But I glanced over and I just saw. You know, and I know he's just wearing socks and shoes, so I got a little. Yeah, there's no underwear there. Yeah, yeah. you can check if you want. No, um, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> the first time, 
Now, the first time you go to the bathroom with leader hose on, it is a nightmare. You think you're going to wet your pants because there's there's all sorts of buttons and and different pouches and and flaps and things. It, it's uh, it's panic city. Yeah. Um. And then you learn the 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 cheating way of not buttoning one inner button and and, and it, the first time you go to the bathroom wearing a kilt. It's it's easy, right? Do you just hike up your kilt or do you drop your kilt or how do you? Yeah. So, I mean, going um, number one, I think you could say is would be very easy. Yeah. Uh, you know, doing you just lift yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. You, you, yeah. Just, you can get it far enough up. Yep. To, yeah. Well, good for you. I'm Irish. I might not be able to. And do it. <laughs> the other one, the whole goal is to do it before you have to put the kilt on. Ah, go yes, go yes, before yes. you go. You go yeah. Go, go before, before you, you go. Because it's a process. Yeah. I mean, the worst you gotta get part. Somebody, hey, zip Imagine me, zip wearing a wedding dress. Yeah. Yeah. It's very. I would say it's it's just as bad. Now, how how many times have you worn a wedding dress? How do you know that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, is that another thing you're well. into? Listen, no. this is you. That's fine. You do you, buddy. We're gonna get him to fire up the pipes. Some bagpiping on the radio. You've been warned. Coming up, scale of one to ten, how good are you, Matt? He's modest. Yeah, I mean, I I, I can are hold you good my own. at? You can hold your own. Yeah, he can hold his own. So, uh, well, he had a full ride scholarship no, I, for the yeah, pipes. I mean, an asterisk. I, who knew? It's <laughs> nine o'clock now. Sunny and thirty-seven for today. We'll get some bagpiping in the studio. Coming up with Matt, ask a bagpiper today on the Will Rock Morning Show. After five finger death punch.
Five Finger Out, Will Rock, 904, Tom Lee, Will Rock, Morning Show. Matt, the bagpiper is here. He's going to fire. He's like, when do I get to fire up the pipes? We're going to have him fire up the pipes coming up in a couple of minutes. Can you play something that, that don't tell me, mm-hmm. something that we will know and we'll play Name That Bagpipe Tune? Yeah. All right. You got it like three and me and Leo will play and we'll see who wins. Yeah. And, and then, uh, okay. all right, all right, all right. It's and on. Can I blow you a little bit too or not? No. Uh, bagpipe. Yeah. Yeah. They don't share. I think I would have the lungs to do it. They how, do not share the bagpipes. How hard? Because you blow into the bladder yeah. and then your arm is where you, you push the air out into the pipes, right? So you fill that thing and then you control it with your arm, right? You just want to get it full. You want to keep it full. Is that right? Yeah. You really want... Um... They, they say like a rock underneath your arm. So you're just yeah. blowing air and you're keeping it tight and taut right here. And so as you're forcing the air in and your arms pressing down, that's when you can get the sound to go out the drones and then the chanter. How how hard is it to keep the thing? I mean, are, are you struggling to keep up sometimes or is it is it not that difficult or? No, it can be difficult. Um, when, you, I, when I used to practice every single day, it's, you know, things still it's a workout for your, I yeah. mean, you, it's a cardio and a, and a, and a, and yeah, a I get and tired a, easier now. Yeah. I don't practice as much. Yeah. And like this past Monday, um, you know, it's not ideal to get a brand new set of reads. Uh, I mean, right obviously. Before, yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> right don't want, you don't want to St. Patrick's Day weekend. So, but no, the reads uh, need all, to be broken or whatever. Yeah. 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 So mainly the one that's in the pipe channel where the, your hands are and then the drones or the, you have the three um, yeah. drones. That's, uh, those little dangly yeah, things hanging off. Up. You look like uh, alien versus predator. With exactly. That. Yeah. Um, but I is it, and there's times where you're struggling to keep up or what? Mm-hmm. Like I have a birth defect. I have a funnel chest, and you would think I I, I do. I it, it takes like cardio wise if I'm running mm-hmm. or sex or anything. I mean I, I can't. <laughs> it's it's important. Hard. Like I cannot circulate enough air. Yet I can hold my breath and I can hold a note. I can hold a continuous note. I can blow out longer than anybody I know. That's a weird flex. Well, <laughs> I mean, that's strangest. all I got. That's all I got. I, got like, I can blow I got out like, more I got than like, anybody. I got like four things. I'm an aggressive nose picker with a manageable penis who can move his skull and hold a note longer than anybody. That's me. Wow. So put it on a tombstone. No, Hitler's gone. And so I want to know, can I blow your pipes or not? Or if you want to, yeah. Yeah. Do you have like a, are you going to make me use a mouthpiece or is there a dental dam or can we get a baggie? Uh, Leah used to make out with anyone as long as she had a sandwich bag. (laughs) A sandwich bag. Did you know that? Did you know that? (laughs) She used to make out with girls, but she would, she would put a sandwich bag in the middle and then Jesus would be okay with it. This is what what it was like a dental dam. That is what it was. Yeah, Yeah. but it wasn't like a regular thing. It happened. Only on weekends. Uh, It was the freezer dried bag. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, it's standard sandwich bag, oh, not even ones. freezer, not even. Oh. I brought I brought bags to the Cam Fever getaway this year. I brought a whole box of bags. I was thinking she'd make out with some of the. She did, and she's like, "Oh, those are those bags are too nice." She just wants the lightest sandwich bag. Yeah, not and the ones she, with the zipper. Just you, the ones like. Uh. Did you ever make out with her with a sandwich bag? Or did you? <laughs> do you know that no, or not? Yeah. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> did you know she did that, or she was the weird girl no, in high no, school? Right? Yeah, was no, this wasn't even high school. We were. So, yes, she was a much younger child when she yeah. started making out with the other yeah. girls. We were trying to Sorry, figure out. I got that wrong. Yeah. Just trying to find herself. This yeah, happened. I'm not making this up. You, you, this is right. But we were trying to figure oh, out. It, how ain't, to, it ain't right. It's true, but it we ain't right. We were trying to figure out, like, how to practice kissing. And a lot of people practice kissing their hands, their arms. Pillow. So someone suggested, like, we kiss each other. But and I'm like, that's you can't do that. Like, we were, you know. Jesus would not be Jesus happy. is not yeah. going but you put thrilled. a sandwich bag there. <laughs> Jesus is like, yeah, that's cool. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Holy Spirit, come on over and take a look at this. That Leah, what a little saint. She's got the sandwich bag out. This is really who she was. We'll see if he has a Leah story, too. Oh, we'll no. get some bagpipe music coming up in just a little oh. bit. Matt, the bagpiper is here. It's 908. <laughs> I'm just. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You're very just. Whatever. Just so many things. How far are you willing to go for an insurance scam? This guy took it to a whole other level. That story is on the way. It's going to be sunny and 37 for today, 25 overnight, 35 and overcast for tomorrow. It's 31 in Waukegan and 31 in Elgin. Bag piping, sandwich bags, insurance scams. Oh, and when turkeys attack, coming up to on your uh, sandwich bag makeout station, 95 Will Rock.
If you're having trouble with air, sinus and snoringmd.com can help you. Dr. Swordland and his team will help you regain your quality of life by helping you breathe better. It's not just when you're sleeping either, it's not just the snoring, but you know, you're breathing all the time. If you've got obstructed breathing, uh, you're not getting uh, you know, a full breath and all this, you're gonna be tired. You're not going to get the air you need. And at night, you snore. Sleep apnea can be a dangerous problem. Dr. Swerdlin and his team can help. Anything, sinus, ear, nose, throat. He's got it for you. Sinus and Snoring MD. Four locations, so they're nearby. Kenosha, Oak Creek, Mount Prospect, and Lombard. And you can meet them online. You can find out that you don't need a referral. Most insurance is accepted. And you can make your, your appointment right there and start on the path to regain your quality of life. Allergy season is coming up, or it's actually already on for a lot of people. Don't suffer through it. Visit sinusandsnoringmd.com. Sinusandsnoringmd.com. Well, that's a development. Leah's like, oh, yeah, we used to practice giving each other hickeys, too. What? Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's no. a new one. Oh, okay. Like like I'm, on the neck? No, like using arms. Like so on arm. You'd give yourself and a hickey or you give your ba sandwich baggy friend a hickey? <laughs> Were you the girl in high school that gave all the boys hickeys? There was oh a girl. Oh my gosh, there was always like we, that girl. We no, had I one was girl not that gave that, all the boys I hickeys. I was not that girl. She I made knew. an A on my stomach with because that was her name, Amy. Amy. Yeah, yeah. With, so it's like a hickeys. scarlet letter type of. Yes, yes, thing. yes. I was Netty Tom. So. Proctor oh, Tom. No, I wasn't because I learned early on after the whole hickeys on an arm during a sleepover, an all girls sleepover, the parents saw and they were like, told you, us you how blood clot and die how bad it is well not so much well, and that. you look like a hoe well i heard that you it's actually well that too uh i heard that when you do that you're actually like sucking uh you know, you're, you're rupturing blood vessels well, that you're too, rupturing your I, capillaries this is not this is not a true thing but i remember being told this okay. that it's actually like you're sucking urine out yes it's parenting 101 <laughs> That's how you suck urine out of your body. If you ever get bit by a snake, why, why were we told that? Why body. were we told that? To make you stop doing it, well, you little it, idiots. It did. It's it like did. that's the whole. If you pee in the pool, we have a chemical in there. You know, we it can, is, and we yeah, can yeah. turns it blue and we can see it. That's right. the version of your peeing in the so pool. So that's on your when arm. I stopped giving hickeys. Yeah. Anyway, well, at least for a while. Yeah. 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 All right. You didn't know any of this. You went to school there, and she didn't represent as the crazy girl. Oh, she was good. 
She was not good. She had to well, be I mean, handcuffed okay, for the she, senior picture. You know, you punched Miss Blanton. Yeah. It was an accident. Miss <laughs> Blanton needed to shut her. It yeah. was an accident. Yeah. All right. Uh, badass Leah. It's 914. Uh, how far are you willing to go for an insurance scam? This guy really, uh, he overdid it. That's coming up after the 95 Will Rock 95 second update. A man allegedly fired shots at a disabled veteran's vehicle following an altercation at a marijuana dispensary in Waukegan. The incident happened March 8th, with the offender reportedly displaying a Glock 19 during a verbal argument before shooting at the victim's vehicle near Spring Hill Suites. While police recovered shell casings and broadcasted information about the suspect in their vehicle, it remains unclear whether the offender has been apprehended. No injuries were reported after a three-alarm fire destroyed a garage and a house in unincorporated Lake Villa on Tuesday afternoon. Responding firefighters found both structures engulfed in flames. Thankfully, all residents evacuated safely with fire officials attributing the blazes origin to the garage before it spread to a nearby house. Did you see the pictures? On yeah, the it's that? horrible. That was a it's blaze. horrible. Yeah, yeah, that was. The family lost s- everything. Scary. That's, that's very sad. Yeah. yeah. Will Rock Sports, it's brought to you by Pratt's Chimney Service for cleaning, repairs, and rebuilds. You could go to prattschimney.com. LA Kings, they defeated the Chicago Blackhawks 6-2. to Blackhawks visit the Ducks tomorrow night. Bucks at Boston tonight. Bulls will be in Houston tomorrow. And Cactus League Baseball, Brewers win, Cubs lose. And finally, insurance scams. How far are you willing to go for a... Uh, or a good insurance scam. This guy. Are you, are you asking? I've not done any no. insurance scams. I remember thinking one, <laughs> when I needed a new car, like back in the day, I was like, what if I just drove around in a helmet and like pads and crashed my car to get a new car? Like You I, wanted to get the insurance. Yeah, yeah. Like I thought about this. My, of course, I would never do that. And plus, if I was driving. <laughs> I think we've all thought of it. <laughs> driving around with a <laughs> no, no, I if haven't. I was, if I was driving no. around with a helmet Not and the helmet, but and, they're gonna they're gonna question that. Pads, well, gonna you question. do. You look like a kid that might have to wear a helmet. You look <laughs> might look like helmet and helmet and a leash. You might uh, look might look like a leash. My buddy, my I lived with uh, the first program director of well, when it was Power ninety five. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Uh, he had a vet. And he would he would anytime he was at an ATM or anywhere where there's large bumper po- stick up out right, of the right, ground right. Yeah, to protect yeah. the thing, he would slam his vet. He would scrape it with his vet. He would because he was trying to get so, yeah. Get yeah. An and I'm like, why would you do that to a vet? Yeah. I mean, it was a shove vet, but still, it was a vet. <laughs> and that's a true story. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, well, when it breaks down, then I'll finally be able to get a new car. So I know somebody smart. Who did that. Smart. Yeah. That's smart. This is no, not... no, it's not. What? It's fraud. Okay, what whatever. <laughs> well, if you're a criminal, smart. It's, smart. it's smart. So is going into a bank, brandishing a gun, and asking them for the money. It's very smart. They'll Both give you money. Yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look out for the die pack. It's smart. You're getting free money. That's not smart. It's criminal, Leah. It's criminal. Criminal, not smart. You go to jail. They do things to you there. Food's not great. You know, you know, I heard that there's a lot of loving going yes, on. Yes, <laughs> there is. Orange is the new, but they don't, and but they don't provide sandwich bags. So Jesus is pissed. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. All right. Well, this guy he uh, faked frostbite injuries for an insurance payout. He soaked his legs in dry ice for ten hours. That's not faking frostbite. That's getting frostbite. <laughs> well, that's getting an amputation. <laughs> Double amputation. Yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> Start faking frostbite. That's he, self-inflicted frostbite, which is very painful. He was on the way to get $1.29 million yeah. from insurers. Yeah. Uh, but then they, well, they uncovered the scam due to the suspicious circumstances. Because yeah. why are you, why are you just covered in dry How ice? You, yeah. And yeah. also it was uh, I symmetrical. In, I accidentally fell into a vat of dry <laughs> ice perfectly in a chair sitting there soaking my calves but the injury was symmetrical so if you're yeah. gonna do this at least they have it be a little like it asymmetrical well, that's yeah, when yeah, you yeah. shoot yourself to act like you know something happened mm-hmm. you don't want to kill yourself you want to shoot but make sure you at least get a good, a good why wound? am i helping with this i don't know <laughs> yeah so he wanted one he was going to get 1.2 million and now he's just got a new nickname stumpy pete oh, that's no. it you know he's guy. Got, he doesn't have legs all right good for him it is uh 919 thanks for how to fraud the insurance company 101 <laughs> with Leah. We got some bagpiping coming up on Will Rock.
I walk into the studio. I walked out during the break. I walk in. First word out of Leah's mouth I hear, and she's talking to Matt the bagpiper. Is, va- is vagina. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not that far a, back. It's a random guest on the show, and she's like... No, it's not a random uh, guest. Don't make it sound like a random guest. We're were, just trying to catch up. Were you still talking sandwich bag? I don't no, know what's going on here. No, we're... Yeah. It's a, that needs a hefty bag. Not be, for air. Okay. Oh, we're not going to tell the... Because I don't know what the story was, so... Not All for right. air. All right. So, I, I for, I'm sorry. I, you need to warm up. Is that because you warm up? Uh, are you? Can you play now, or do you need to warm up, or do you need to fill your bladder, or how's this? How? What is the process of bagpiping? So, I mean, with the bagpipes, they're very <clears throat> finicky with uh, moisture, temperature, and so yeah, usually you need a couple minutes to typically warm up. But you know, we'll just All right. we'll, we'll throw some air down. So we're gonna throw play. some air down. <laughs> Want to do it now? Can we, yeah, do, we it can now? do it now? We're gonna throw some air down into the pipes, Leah. Okay. Uh, and then I I would like to try and learn how to. To blow into it. Well, not only that, but yeah, and, yeah. The, and the fingering, the blowing and the fingering. Mm-hmm. Um, what, Good luck. What a, what a, you don't want to try it at all? How do you know? Well, I mean, how do I You've know? You've been blowing for many years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and fingering and whatever. Have you ever played the bag? I haven't. No. No. But it looks difficult. I can't it play. It looks very difficult. I can't play a is- instrument. So. I'm very good at the recorder, and this looks like the recorder for people with lungs all right sling it up matt and let's so take us through the process so what do we do all right so which i think we're gonna do yeah, some, yeah we're gonna do some bagpiping coming up bagpiping on well rock <laughs> so there's now these three large things hanging off four large things hanging off there those are called your so these top three are the drones the drones and then this is a blowpipe so the blowpipe actually <laughs> It's a lifesaver, but there's a little check valve in there. It is a lifesaver. Yeah. Why is it? Because then, get... then the air won't come back in your mouth. Oh, I thought you meant the drool was coming no, back. No, no, no. Do you have a, like, on a, when I played trumpet, there was a little valve to run oh, the drool out gosh. of the end. Do you have one of those? Is there a drool valve somewhere? Yeah, so I'll just show it to you real quick. So this bag is made out of, uh, like, Canmore or yeah. Vanatine. So it's similar. To, it's got, like, a zipper that you'd have on a wetsuit. Okay. Um, I've just got a little pipe in here little and that's what too. that's where the air comes yeah, into the, the, the thing just from this blowpipe up here just from the blowpipe and then i also have another contraption in there um how so, did they do it back in the day before so, zippers and and neoprene yeah or, so you know? when i was playing and practicing every day i had a sheepskin bag yeah and so the sheepskin bag is probably the best bag i yeah. personally believe because it's just ribbed for her you pleasure. play it yeah every day <laughs> it's just like you know, why is sheepskin is better so yeah but why just, do you not have sheepskin now then is it expensive or it wears out yeah or? they're i mean they're anywhere from three to four hundred dollars a bag and you know they can maybe last for two years and if you don't that's if you play them often and if yeah. i don't play them it's just a they dry out just die. a bad investment yeah so these that'll last these forever can last almost forever as long yeah. as no one takes a knife and now it. how how much does this a nice set of bags you have or is this a beginner set or is this so a- the, these pipes up here so where the drones are at that's I would say this is the the oldest part up here. Yeah. Um. So these are from 1900 to 1904. Those are. Yeah. Wow. And then where'd you get those? Like a bagpipe used pipe shop. I got them from a, a gentleman down, or... down in uh, Chicago in yeah. 2005. He, you murdered him? Or no, he, yeah, <laughs> no, he sold them to me. I mean, they're yeah, they're I mean, Cocos he... wood, so they're probably more Caribbean uh, type wood, and they're also more um they're marine ivory. All right. So I didn't. And the length of them is the the tone or the note or yep. whatever. Yeah. And then um and then you finger. Where do you finger on uh, on the bottom thing? Yeah. So, on so the, the air goes through there to get to the pipes. Yeah. So then it'll come in out. It's like a and it's a double set of reeds. Similar there's a reed in there, like and then there's a reed in all the pipes. Yes. Okay. It's um, a lot of instruments I feel like put into one. It is right. Yeah, it's like a flute yeah. and a recorder a and clarinet. A, I don't yeah, know your bladder. So you you know yeah, yeah. like a pee. It's a wetsuit. <laughs> Could be used as a weapon. It could be. Yeah. Weapon of war. Uh, all right. So we're going to fire it up and the air goes in through there into the bag, through the fingering thing, and then out the pipe. Yeah. So every, all the air is being forced out between the channer and then also the drones. Here. And how much, I'm sorry, how much does this set of pipes other than murdering the guy? What would it have cost <laughs> if you wouldn't have murdered him? What? Uh, um, yeah. You know, what, they did can, they, what did this cost? What did this these cost? back about this, 20 years ago were 3,000. This is a nice set of pipes. It is. Yeah. Um, but they can range from, I mean, I've got a set of, two plastic set of pipes 
uh, that you know you can get them for. I mean, now brand new, they're probably a thousand bucks. What's entry level if somebody wants to try and do it and they don't want to, you know, probably like eight hundred bucks, nine hundred. I mean, first off, you'd start on a practice channel similar to a, a recorder. Yeah. Um, and then if you you know progressed and felt like you either yourself it's or worth your parents it. yeah, were yeah, like, yeah hey <laughs> might as well get a good one and you yeah. can tell the difference yeah yeah um and it's like guitars do because like if somebody plays i play i air quote played bass guitar mm -hmm. and i had three of them i could barely play one but you see them and you want yep. them do you have multiple sets of yeah so i is still your have my original set of bagpipes they're plastic yeah and then i just recently acquired another set of plastic pipes of the same yeah so i've got two sons so just in case they ever want to play right. have they shown them. any interest not yet they're nine and seven so yeah. it's just uh they're gonna have to do something so play we'll figure it out and then just got a drum they're gonna play minecraft <laughs> I mean, they've been on a little bit of a Fortnite spring here, Fortnite, but... yeah there it is mm -hmm. yeah i think yeah. everyone is right now all right and that, now your 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 uh, drones or what what are they called yeah, are those are ivory yeah the, you're yeah, a horrible was, person yeah it was be in 1900 to 1904 it was before we the knew ivory not to do ivory he's no elephants were hurt in the performance of this song mm -hmm. we'll play name that tune how long does it take you to fill your bladder and get going uh, just a couple seconds all right here we go a couple seconds and then we're going to be piping here we go bagpiping on will sounds great I can't yep. help. Thought we blew out every speaker in the building. Yeah, I guess you're okay. Fall, yeah, I am deaf now. <laughs> you know, my headphones are super loud. I literally just destroyed my. And I didn't have my headphones on because I it's thought I needed to take them loud. off yeah, to yeah. hear him. My earplugs in. So. Yeah. Do you play? Do you wear earplugs? Oh, yeah. That yeah, thing is to. loud. Yeah. I, every I have. Yeah, you have to wear. This is the on. loudest instrument of all the instruments yeah. without any electrical amplification. It's got to yes. be. It's, it's very loud. It is a nightmare. All right, do, let's. Uh, so I got that one. That's mm -hmm. one point, Tom. Sure. If we're keeping, I can't, we are keeping okay, score, of Leah. We are. All right, one, two more songs. You, you got to get this one all right. right, all right. Here, we here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I would have never. I, I know the song, it, but, but right. I couldn't have. All right. Okay, one, can... one more. This is for the win. This is for the one. Or the tie. Or the tie. This thing is a nightmare. Five boys and girls, there's your marine anthem right there, right? Yeah, from the halls of Montezuma to the shores mm -hmm. of Tripoli. I'm not good at doing we those. We will fight our country's bat. You're not going to join in no. on the land. All right, and so anyway, that how many songs do you know on the bagpipe? Oh, uh, there's that's hard to say. I mean, sometimes you find yourself repeating the same ones, but there's so many tunes out there. All right, um, but well over. Probably at least a hundred or two. That's I mean, a hundred or two. Yeah, right. I mean, it might take a little bit to. Um, I might have to sometimes look at the music real quick, and then yeah, it kind of comes back to you. But or just hear it. So you got to read music. Time. Do you normally read music to learn a song, yes. or do you, or do you sound it out by ear? Can you play by ear? Yeah. So it just depends on the the tune, or if you've listened to it, just like anything else. If you listen to it long enough, sometimes you might start being able to figure okay. it out, and then right. you see the music, you're like, wow, <laughs> that's it. And do you do you compare it? Is it akin to playing a recorder? Because it really does look like you're playing the recorder. Yeah, it, I mean, basically it's, playing the recorder and blowing into yeah, it. Yeah, it's very similar. Um, it's just a lot more embellishments. So instead of you flutter, yeah, you're just moving a lot of different finger works on there mm -hmm. so i'm very good at fingering and blowing so uh okay. coming up i would like to i can play your bagpipes if you want to i don't you don't sit on a man's motorcycle you but i can play your bag yeah, if you want all right all right that is coming up plus uh we got the happy hour news on the way yeah i have you ever ran before <laughs> <laughs> 
this is her funny thing. Like, I don't know how to. I He's ran. Got a concave chest. Though. And you saw it from floor and decor all the way to the studio. I did so. not. You fastly, you walked with your we, arms going like this. We were this. at a 501 club party where I ran to that the 501. That was ridiculous. That was, so, yes, I've run. So, that's coming up. Yeah, if you're tired of sweating it out at the gym, I have uh, good news for you. That is on the way. Plus, Tom plays bagpipes. That's going to be some great broadcasting (sighs) straight ahead on Will Rock. I'm in the Chevy Silverado from Ray Chevy and Fox Lake and Raymond Chevrolet and Antioch. No matter what new Chevy you get at Ray and Raymond, you're going to love it because it's the exact vehicle you want at the price you deserve. They're part of the community, too. Family owned and operated for over 50 years. It's half a century of caring about the communities that they serve. If you go in, yes, they have all the accolades. They just got more awards. Uh, it ran Raymond. It's hard to keep up dealership awards and all that. But what they're really proud of is the plaque from the local Little League team or the football team or uh, the organization that needed a vehicle to get people around and to help out. Ray and Raymond really do from the goodness of their heart. Yes, it's good business, but they appreciate and they love the communities they serve. You're going to get the best vehicle from people that care about you. You're going to get the best price from people that are part of the community. When it comes time to buy a new Chevy, or a quality pre-driven vehicle, go where you're appreciated and you're treated right. Ray Chevy is on 12 in Fox Lake. Raymond Chevrolet is on 173 in Antioch. Tom blows. We've heard that for years and he's going to prove it. I'm going to play some bagpipes coming up. Man, I don't have any diseases or anything, so I can use your mouthpiece. Yeah, all right. We'll we'll wash it afterwards. Yeah, yeah, all right. Um, (laughs) He's still going to wash it. (laughs) I'll put it in some scotch. I'm not going to have to. I'm not washing it. Is it Scottish, right? It's uh, it's our Scottish bagpipes. I'm not going to wash mine. I'm just going to wipe it off with my arm, just like Mm -hmm. an old pop bottle used to when you were kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sanitizes anything. As long as you don't suck in, you should be fine. Fine. Why? Because then you'd get like, it'd be Whoa. like drinking someone's wash, like backwash, right? Why well, you got to gross me out before I do this? Just make sure I don't suck yeah, in, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, yeah, how do you? Only blow, don't ooh, suck. So then yeah, you, yeah. you breathe in we'll through see. your nose? No, it's just all deep breaths. So you're just deep breath. You go off of the mouthpiece when you breathe. Do you go no. off and then breathe and then back? Or do you just keep it in the mouth to the and... side? 
And yeah. So I'm gonna, coming up, I'm going to suck in another man's drool. Okay. Is uh, can I borrow a sandwich bag? It's in just a couple of minutes, Tom plays the bagpipes. Am I going to be able to make it sound like bagpipes? Well, I guess we'll find out. I don't know. All right, we'll see. All right. I've got some hope for you. I don't. Okay, good. I don't. <laughs> After the happy hour news, I get a lesson, and then we come back and I play the bagpipes. It is time for the 95 Will Rack Happy Hour News. And if you're not a big runner, like whatever, some of my friends. No, if you're tired of sweating it out at, uh, at the gym. Uh, yeah, I really am. Yeah, I know you are. Hold on to your dumbbells because researchers might have found a way to give you the benefits of exercise without actually exercising. Exercise? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, scientists at Washington University School of Medicine have been working on a special compound over the past decade that could mimic all those physical perks of a workout. Uh, but before you. What are they working on? They're working on like a like a pill, a compound. A pill. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. All That's right. going to mimic all of the physical perks of working out. OK, we were talking about this off the air, though, do, earlier. Do you today. actually get in better shape? That's what they're saying. Yeah. Um, but what were we, saying? we were talking about like I. Even if I'm still not in the shape that I want to be, you know, like because I you still like I working still out. enjoy working out like it is. So even if I had this, I feel like I'd still want to work out. It's, but, so you're one of those people. And I always talk about them. you go no, to the gym no, no, and they no. look like they're enjoying themselves. Like, this is my place. I'm here doing my no, thing. No, I am and not I one go, of those people. I'm going to punch you in the face, you know, or whatever. I'm not it's, one of those people during. I do not want to be there. It, but but after, afterwards, yeah, I yeah, yeah. feel good. Right. Yeah. So does it give you that like the because it's proven mentally that it helps you. Right. Does yeah. it give you the the, the, the same uh, physical mental perks yeah. to this? Or? that. No, it doesn't. And it says before you throw your sneakers away, experts aren't saying it's a total replacement for hitting the treadmill. It's more like a backup plan on those days you just can't buckle when is down. It, when is it coming out? What's it called? Where well, can I get been, it? Can I buy stock? So the drug isn't quite ready for humans yet. They've only tested it on mice so far. All right. But, but these mice are these are yeah, very happy they're, mice and they're ripped. <laughs> these mice are these in mice the are best shape of their ever. Life. These mice are getting so much tail. All they you do is eat it. cheese yeah. and yeah. they're, they're hey, yeah, on, look at they that. just look good. Well, Welcome Still. to the little tiny gun show. All right. All right. Coming up, Tom will be as physically fit as a mouse. This is what causes the zombie apocalypse, probably. They got stuff you can do to diet now, you know, Ozempic and all that. So they yeah, might as well stuff that, that you can work uh, out. Do them both. No, do them both. I don't know. Yeah. The, this sounds a little different than the Bad news the for you, treadmill. Trend. You're getting out of the house. I'm going to find some new place to hang my laundry. <laughs> you are unemployed. I'm going to blow. Well, uh, I'm going to try. We have, we have, uh, Two minutes and 45 seconds for me to learn how to play the bagpipes. Yikes. Coming back, I'm going to play some bagpipes. Next on Will Rock. You should probably go listen to another station.
All right, here we go. So I've done a lot of cool things. I've flown a blimp. I've kicked an extra point in a semi-pro football game. Oh, my God. Please stop I've, talking I've, I've, about I've, that. No, but I've done a well, championship season, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whatever. I've done a lot of fun things because of this job. This is another first. I'm playing the bagpipes. I broke boards doing karate. You're trying to play the bagpipes. Of, I've, I've, I've been beat up by the Hanson brothers. There's been a lot of cool things uh, this that is, you've gotten to do. I finally get to play the bagpipes. I love the bagpipes. This is Matt. He's going to play at my funeral and at the unveiling of my <laughs> unveiling of my taxidermiedness. And um, we're going to play the bagpipes. Now, you're going to teach me how. We decided we're going to teach me how on the uh, Tom tube here. So what do I do? How, for, how do you wear the thing? All right. So you're going to put it underneath your... Uh... Left arm. All right. So right my left, here. left arm. arm. Stupid microphone. Yeah. All right. So it's under my left arm. Are there right-handed bagpipes? There no. are. And I put the thing here. Yep. All right. This is what I blow That's into. That's what you blow into. Your lips on here. Pat. Yeah. All right. And so then, it, there's not like a strap. You know. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. And then, and then I'm going to so blow this, into this yeah, thing. This will come this down here. here. Find the holes. Yeah. Where are the holes? There's a thumb yeah. hole. Oh, geez. I'm yeah. losing it already. <laughs> there's the Oh, geez. There's the thumb holes. Yeah. You look so awkward. And there's the finger holes. And there's the finger holes. Yeah, the so other you end. want to straighten your fingers out. You straighten your yeah, fingers. Yeah, you got to straighten them out. <laughs> How do yeah, I straighten fully. them out? You, like look at oh, you don't hold them with the tips. You don't hold them with the tips. You don't hold them with the tips of your fingers. You hold them with like the second. Yeah, in the middle. Oh, jeez. And I don't use my pinky? Not there. And then you move. Nope, not that one. What the? No, oh. Right there. All right. Thank you, Pop Pop. All right, now I can't get no, this thing in my mouth. Now I gotta blow as hard as you can. Oh, I was going. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Wow, he's doing it. Move your fingers. You gotta yeah, keep blowing. <laughs> You're gonna yeah, there, come on, come on, keep harder, 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 harder. <laughs> <laughs> is a nightmare that is a very impressive time. that is a oh god awful nightmare how did i do for my first time matt uh, i would say very very impressed uh most people can't even get a sound and i'm gonna give you a little tug at the well, end there but I then had, you got I it yourself had him blow a little for me yeah so, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah but how, in all honesty oh. first time how did i do very it's good. hard to get that. I, it's a lot more air has to than go you into it than, than, than you thought. Think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier. Oh. I, kudos to you, man. Yeah, no, my when I first got my bagpipes and I, I played them. My, my dad tried them, and this is you know 24 years ago, so he yeah. was even younger. But uh, yeah, he, uh, you know, he was good. No, he was no, winded no, like was you are winded. right now. <laughs> the thing is, and then you walk. You have yeah, to yeah, walk yeah. At the same time or whatever, and. That was a lot more. That's a lot more than you think it it's is. It's impressive. Yeah. You want to try it? No. No. no okay. I'm good. Right, I'm good. Right, there it is. So, uh, so we were in uh, we were in Holland. We were at a wooden shoe factory. You know, Sabo, the wooden mm -hmm. shoes. And uh, and because I have impressive lungs, but not that thing taught me a lesson. That put me in my place. The bagpipes, the wooden shoe thing. The guy, they 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 cut them down to like where they're just starting to look like shoes, and then they put their mouth on where your foot would go in that hole. And they blow really hard, and the wood is so wet that water like gushes out of these shoes oh, when they blow on them to dry them out. And we're there with a group of people, and they pass it around. Not one person can get one drop to come out of those shoes. And I put my mouth on it, and I blow, and a bunch of water comes out. And the guy's like, I've never seen a tourist do it like that before. So I have. You've got strong lungs. I got a set 
But that thing is a nightmare. How do you, your lungs must be the most incredible thing ever. Right. Yeah. They're doing all right. Yeah. Yeah. Good set of lungs. You know what? You got a nice set of lungs. I do. Lady. I do. You got a nice set of lungs. No. You want to give it a try? No, uh, no, no, no. I'm good. No. All no. right. All right. Matt, thank you for letting me use your bagpipes. I appreciate yeah. that. I'm going to go back to the fire. You know, the fireman, theremin that you do with your hands. Yeah. You don't have to blow into that. So. <laughs> Lot Very little incident. cardio going yeah, on yeah. there. That was some good radio. A lot of people are like, yeah, we need more bagpipes on Will Rock. Yeah. I think we could use more bagpipes in like rock songs. Well, sure. Absolutely. Coming up, though, I will never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> One and done on the pipes. Here's the Black Crows. It's wanting and waiting. 95 Will Rock, the rock station. Black Crows, I will rock. Bagpipes a lot harder than it looks, uh, as far as the not filling easy. It there. But I like the fingering. I, it sounded like I was kind of playing a song. I, I, yeah, diddly, 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 diddly. I thought you were going into the, uh, whatever the one. Uh, 
Yeah, that yeah, one. Highway way to, to, oh, 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 highway AC, to hell. ACDC, AC, yeah. yeah, long way to the top. That's yeah. what yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought you were going to go to. Thank you for recognizing that. That's how I was playing. Name that tune. Exactly. I'm very good. I didn't know that in school. I learned the recorder mm-hmm. word, and I didn't know that. I can play recorder. Okay, but recorder yeah. and bagpipe. Same where, thing. Yeah. Just, uh, just a lot bigger chest needed. So <sighs> you and I can do it as a team. You could just sit there and blow. Well, that's I what you and Matt were doing. I'll, I'll finger <laughs> yeah, and you yeah. blow. You get your mouth on it blowing. I'll finger it. and we'll Sounds like a threesome with a bagpipe I don't want to be a part of. Whatever. Whatever. Matt will hold the camera. I'm going to set this one out. All right. Fine. Fine. And, but that was fun. I, I added to the it list. It was funny. You might have a hemorrhoid after that, but you were pushing so hard. It was a ch- and your then, eyes and then, looked like they were bulging out of your head. And then I had Matt take over and blow while mm-hmm. I was trying to do the fingering. And even though he was blowing, I was still, still blowing. blowing. Like, yeah, I, I saw. I, I watched. I'm like, and then I thought, wait, why am I doing this? I'm making him do it. Uh, so. Anyway, oh, thank that you was for, great. Thanks for the thanks for the help. Thanks yeah. for the assist. I appreciate you score one assist. Nine fifty five. Sunny and thirty seven for today. Twenty five overnight. Thirty five and overcast for tomorrow. It's thirty one in Zion. Thirty one in Crystal Lake. Or we let you go. Some kind of plug. Like you're going to be out at Baldrick's on Sunday at Greentown Tavern, right? Yep. And always. That, and, you're and always you out there. Events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing them quite a few years when Jim McArdle's been doing them, and I think it uh, started back at Sundance Saloon and. Yeah. Also the Genesee Theater. What well, time do you play? Time, yeah, when do you play? So it's 12 to 5, so I typically am there for most of the day. Play a few yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, just throughout, nothing too annoying. Um, I'll, it's I'll, more about St. Baldrick's and people I'll shaving practice heads, so. a little on my recorder this week, weekend, oh, wow. and you can uh, blow an out finger, and we'll play. it'll be a, like a do Oh, I'm going to call. I'm going to go to the bullpen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 for the yeah, first yeah. song. <laughs> Give me the right hander. Give Please me the right don't. Hander. Please Give me the don't. Right now, now, if somebody wants to learn to play the bagpipes or something, what do you what do you suggest? Where's their because you had a guy in the neighborhood who's like, "Hey, little boy, come here." <laughs> yeah, it sounds so but creepy. I, I, I teach a, a guy named Bob at, um, in Kenosha, so it's just really it's all word of mouth. I don't really do any advertisement for it, but there's no but website. You, w- you would teach yeah, somebody. I, mean, I would definitely teach. Um, you know, I enjoy I mean, it. And if so, people want you to play their funeral, I suppose ask before you die, uh, which I just did. But if people want you to play an event or whatever, how mm-hmm. can they find you or um, to call send Lee an email? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just contact me. It's word of mouth. It's where'd you get that bagpiper? Oh, here's his number. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. advertise, I guess you could say. It's just like, you know, I'll do a lot of fundraisers and, you know, sometimes those are just, I mean, they're fundraisers, so I'm not yeah. charging anything. And, yeah, you yeah. know, sometimes things do come out of it and yeah. you get weddings, funerals. You know, well, right. and I mean, because that, that's fun. not his main gig. Your full time job You're not is. A, wait, he's not a full time. <laughs> he's not a full time. Believe <laughs> he had it or that not, full ride scholarship. With him, <laughs> and Asterisk. you wasted. You wasted your full ride scholarship. All right, Asterisk, Tom. But Asterisk. if you want to know more, send Lee an email, and she can get you in touch with the man or whatever. But it's not a full time gig. Well, no, because he works at. Uh, so I work for City Treats. of Hope uh, Cancer Center in yeah. Illinois. That's got to be fulfilling to work someplace like yeah, that. Yeah, it's kind of weird how it all comes together. You've been doing this for a lot more years. Same baldrick's a lot many more yeah. years than um i've been working there i've been almost there for 14 years and now more of a community liaison so you know, we're doing a lot of good things for the community yeah um you know and there's lots of options clinical trials and um, you know, it's just it all kind of comes full circle too. yeah it, here, it does well, yeah. we do treat children at our facility in california um just not here in zion so the baldrick's thing is a natural yeah, yeah, yeah. it just i guess it just works out it's, yeah you just fall into things and well, keep doing them matt thanks for letting me put your uh my lips on your thing and coming in this morning and and blowing and uh, fingering and it's just a dirty instrument it is 12, so. it is yeah well, thanks for coming. you we'll, are a child we'll see you at baldrick's on sunday uh it's interesting that I, I thought we were gonna get dirt on leah but uh, we gave him dirt on Leah. Yeah. Instead. So Matt, he, maybe Matt, he, maybe he just was, blocks he, everything out from he's therapy. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 He wasn't paying attention to you. And, Compassionate. Uh, yeah. Thank you for coming in, man. Thanks, guys. Matt. It was, it was a, uh, check one off my bucket list right there. I air quote played the bagpipes. Mm-hmm. Yep, you did. There's your highlight from today's Will Rock. <laughs> that was it. Show. Miss a show. Miss whatever the hell that was. We'll wrap it up next.
Well, Rock Morning Show, Tom and Leah. It is 10 o'clock. Sunny and 37 for today. All right. So thanks to Matt the Bagpiper for being here. See him uh, Sunday at St. Baldrick's. Speaking of St. Baldrick's, my friend uh, Brian over at Mills Pallet is matching all donations up to $5,000 between now and this time tomorrow morning. Find the donation link for St. Baldrick's on the Road Trips page under the Go tab at 95wellrock.com and help us in the fight against childhood cancer. I'll I'll read a bunch of those uh, donations tomorrow morning on the show, so... Uh, plug your business. Get a, take up a collection at work today, and uh, I'll give you some love tomorrow for your donation. So. Open phone Thursday tomorrow, too. Best day of the week. The delightful Jen Mars in next. Have a good day. Be nice to each other. 95 Will Rock.